So that was today's episode of Captain Courageous. And the point we're trying to make is, is that we are to be courageous and to face our fears, even when it's hard. You know, we serve a God that asks us to do a lot of hard things, but he doesn't ask us to do them alone. He is right there with us to walk alongside us in the hard things so that we can do great things for the Lord. But great things don't happen overnight. Liam isn't going to learn how to juggle simply when he picks up the balls. He's going to have to practice. And God is going to ask you to do hard things like memorize scripture and share the gospel with your friends and um, grow in your faith and fight sin. And these things are going to be hard, but he's with you. And these things, even though they're hard, they're good. And God uses the skills that we learn when even when we're kids to build us into people that can be greatly used for his kingdoms as we grow as we grow up. You know, one of my favorite stories in the Bible, and I'm sure you've heard it, is when David has to go face Goliath. Now, David has every right to be scared, right? He's going up against a huge guy, and he's a small shepherd boy. But what a lot of the children Bibles leave out is that David has been training for this his whole entire life. First Samuel tells us, that David was in the field being a shepherd. But that included scaring away huge lions and huge bears that would attack his sheep. Now, I don't know if you've ever come across a bear or a lion, but when those things get up on their hind legs, they're as big as Goliath. And David, he handled those bears and he handled those lions the same way he handled Goliath, with a sling and a stone. So when God asked David to face Goliath, he had every right to be scared, but he knew that God had asked him to do hard things his whole entire life. And with God on his side, he was ready. So we got that sling and he got those stones from the river and he went up to face Goliath. And this is one of my favorite parts. He taunts Goliath. He calls him a name, right? And then with that sling and the stone, as Goliath is charging him, he knocks him right where you're supposed to with the skill God had given him and with God on his side. And he vanquishes the leader of the Philistine armies. So God's going to ask you to do hard things. You're going to have your own uh, quasi Goliaths in your life. But when you follow God, when you lean into the Holy Spirit, when you know Jesus, He can give you the tools to do these hard things and to do great things for his kingdom. So maybe one of the questions you can ask your folks today is what is one hard thing you've had to do in your life that you've seen God use those skills or um, those giftings to reap rewards for his kingdom?